So we've been talking about budgeting yeah. a lot in the content and it's just like business management in in particular. So everyone, I'm not going to say everyone, but most people right now are probably stressed about their business Yeah. because now, I'm not going to say why, because you probably lost some clients, probably finding it hard to get new clients, probably doing less good on the phone, probably getting less leads. There's less kickstarts coming. There's less new gym, new people in the gym. There's less buy-in on Instagram. Everything feels a little bit slow. And you think it's just you, but it's not. Because <laughs> <laughs> Jason's experiencing it. I'm experiencing it. I had a call with Jess yesterday. She's like, I just feel like everything's a bit hard at the moment. Yeah. It's, it's harder than it was two months ago. And I... Uh, had already prefaced it because I was saying had a couple of cancellations and stuff. I was like, oh, everything's just not, it just felt really easy there for a bit and now it's kind of slowed down. Yeah. So I went and had a look through the last four years of quarter two, financial year quarter two. So yeah. last Moving into quarter. into the coldest month. Three Bro, months, yeah. this is the months. only quarter. Granted, obviously, we, This both, is the one with May in it, Yeah. Yeah. We had this fucking conversation last year. Remember with Jamie? We did. So granted, two of those quarters, we went back into closures. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Of this is our first Q2 since we've been managing the data that we've grown. Yeah, it's crazy. So firstly, knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, yeah. everyone's experiencing the same thing. And this is why it's so important to keep your data. Yeah. And to fucking show up every week. So that, yeah, Sorry. that was, <laughs> that's next. <laughs> <laughs> so lost some clients, opened books, didn't all of a sudden have this flood of or new uh, inquiries. Granted, like I've only got a couple of spaces left available. Like it just all went fine. But I was like, what the fuck's going on? This is weird. Mm. And then... I was like, oh, I heard you say something similar. And then Jess said something similar. I was like, yeah. okay. And I spoke to, I've spoken to a few people on Instagram and stuff like, oh, yeah, it's pretty slow, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, there's a, there's a thing happening here. And I didn't realize that we had, like you just pointed out with Jamie last year, yeah. the strength culture guys, same experience, same time last year. Yeah. So not being, a, I, I was like, fuck. Like, put so much effort into launch, new website, mm. all of that. I was like, fuck, maybe I've dropped the ball. I haven't been good enough in mm. whatever. I need to really hone in on that. Mm. And I was like, oh, actually, it's just... <laughs> the whole industry is slow right yeah. now. Uh, because I was able to actually go back and look at the data. Yeah. So, you have two choices right now. A... I feel like you're talking straight at me. I'm not. But down the fuck. I've got two barrel. choices. Down the barrel. I've got two choices, guys. You had two choices. One... You can accept that it's slow. Yeah. Keep things as is and wait for the tide to turn again. And you... So, two approaches. One, continue to do the same amount of work for 52 weeks a year. Yeah. And understand that you have un... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, uneven returns for your efforts over that time. But net over 52 <laughs> weeks, you're going to get X outcome. Yeah. Because you have times when you do yeah, the same amount of work and it gets easy and it's really easy and sometimes you do the same amount of work yeah, and it's it'll be hard work. and it'll be low and it'll be easy. Yeah. Yeah. So the other option is you can chase it. Yeah. So if you're struggling, you probably have no choice. Yeah. It's like if you had to make 100 phone calls three months ago, now you have to make 200. Yeah. To get the same outcome and that's just part of it. Yeah. Or you can just accept it's going to be tough for a little bit. If I keep making my 100 calls day in, day, yeah. week in, week out. I'll come back, yeah. Then, yeah. Have time at all. Because I don't... It's usually like it's not... People think it's the end of winter. It's not. It's like July. Because everyone yeah. realizes that they're yeah. been lazy or put on or whatever. It's going to take longer than 10 weeks to transform your body. Correct. Yeah. So, they're, they're basically your options. Yeah. If you're struggling, you have to just go. You have to chase it. You have to do more work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you are managing your data, you know your numbers, and you have an efficient budget, mm. which is something that the YouTube video is currently out um, on the YouTube channel. Are we in June? Yeah. Yeah. Last month of the financial year. Yeah. As well. Yeah. 
correct. So if you don't have a budget set up, then you're not going to have any... We talk about having business savings put aside all the time. Mm. You don't have a backup for now. Yeah. So you're stressed about the bills and you're stressed about your own finances and because when it was good, you were like, it'll never get not good. Mm. And I'll just fucking either keep spending or whatever, behave in a way that's not conducive to the long term. Or you've created a lifestyle for yourself that's not sustainable in slow times. Yeah. So I think... I know personally one thing that I did that really changed my stress and anxiety around finances was create a amount of, we call it play money that I can spend no matter, no questions asked, yep. don't have to speak to Amy about it, just like, this is the money that I have every week to spend and do whatever I want. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many options that, could, that I could spend that money on. Um, so, that's <laughs> golf and all those types of things. So, yeah. That for me has meant my lifestyle day to day, week to week doesn't change in whether it's turbulent or not. Yeah. There's still the pressure of like the savings account's not filling up the way it was and that's still important but because my living allowance, let's call it, is so relatively low, it doesn't feel like my life changes. Yeah, I understand that. Which I think is really important for anyone running a business to find whatever way they can to reduce their anxiety around their money. Yeah. Because if you're struggling right now, the way you behave on the phone, the way you behave in the consult, the way you behave everywhere Mm. starts to smell a bit. Oh, yeah. Because you get desperate. Yeah. Like, I need this sale to pay my rent. Yeah. Yeah, You even talk about that before you go in. Yeah. Rather than like, how am I going to help this person? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And it just leads to a spiral of... Especially if you knew... Yeah, uh, yeah. <clears throat> like you can kind of pull yourself out if you're experienced. It's like, yeah. hang on a minute. Yeah. But if you're new and you're desperate, it's like, fuck. Yeah. You know, you can fuck that up real quick. Yeah. Just from just straight up desperation. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> our, our uh, As good as I am with money, 